Up. We're here with Ron Bouchard, driver of the Race Hill Farm, Foster Grand Buick. And Ronnie, you ready for this match race or what? Oh, yes, I am. Uh, you know, I think it'll be real thrilling for the fans and myself and Jeff because we competed here at Thompson for many, many years. And, you know, we we're probably two of the biggest rivals here when we ran here. And I think this will be uh, a race where we can set it straight. Well, I know you've got a lot of hometown fans up from Fitchburg tonight, and I'm sure you want to put on a show for them. Oh, definitely. You know, there's a lot of people that are coming from home. And, uh, you know, it's a chance for people to see Grand National race cars. You know, it is only two, but, uh, you know, it's the best thing we can do. We'd like to have 40 of them here if we ever could. And uh, right now we can have the two cars. We're going to show them an authentic pit stop during, you know, about halfway through the match race. And uh, I think it'll just give them a chance to see what we do on Sunday. Now, you won a pole earlier this year at Nashville, and uh, I understand this is the same car. Yes, it is. Uh, we ran this car at Nashville and Bristol and the short tracks, and, uh, you know, it runs real good. Uh, two weeks ago or three weeks ago, we sat on a pole in Nashville, and we got in a bush clash because of it, and that really made us happy. How does things look for the rest of the year for Ron Bouchard and the Race Hill Farm team? Well, I think they're progressing. Uh, you know, we moved last year about winter time, and uh, in the process of getting a shop ready and building race cars and getting them ready to run Daytona and things, it really put us behind. And you can see a difference. The last four or five races, I'd say if we had any luck, you know, we were there, we could have won one or two. And uh, we just haven't had a lot of luck yet, but we are running good, and that's half the battle. Once you do run good, you know, you can get in there and win a race. Well, good luck tonight and the rest of the season. Okay, thank you very much, Richard. Buddy Baker, driver of the Wood Brothers Valvoline Ford, and Buddy, you're making a trip up here to New England, and uh, you're not racing tonight, but you put on a show up at Hudson Sunday, and I understand you had a good time. I had a great time, and I had an awfully good car to run, and uh, Ronnie and I won the heat races and started in the rear in the feature and uh, worked our way right up to the front, and then we, uh, I ran over a car going in the corner, but uh, the car was really good, and everybody's been super good, and it's nice to see the race fans around here like you are in Virginia, North Carolina, and all down through the south. They uh, really love their racing, and everybody's been extra nice. Well, I know you're looking forward tonight with the match race between Ronnie and Jeff, and uh, it'll be your first time flagging, and I know you're going to be able to get back at some of the flagmen that have uh, done some nasty things to you over the years. <laughs> well, it's going to be a good race. Uh, Jeff and uh, Ronnie both are, are good race drivers, and I think it's going to add to the local show, and then they all have an awfully good feature here that everybody ought to come out and see. It's going to be a great race. Well, Buddy, you're one of the real legends in Winston Cup racing. You've won quite a bit of racing in your 23 years of, of Grand National Racing, and you, you're on a, a lower schedule now than what you've done before, and does that suit you fine, or would you like to keep going for the next few years? Well, it's just like this week, you know. I've been up here all week, and uh, last week I was uh, running some local shows. Uh, I really run as much now as I ever have. I, it's on a different level. I run all the major speedways, and then I try to go around the country and run as many uh, local shows as I possibly can. And, you know, I, I stay busy, and that's the main thing. It must be really something you enjoy to, to keep doing this this long. Well, very much so. Uh, I don't look forward to the day when I no longer crawl through the window because I do love it, and I hope I got uh, several more years of good Grand National racing. One of the all-time greats, Buddy Baker. We're with Jeff Bodine, driver of the Gatorade Stewart Pontiac, number 88. And uh, Jeff, you're back uh, with us here at Thompson after a long absence, and uh, you're back with the Grand National car, and I, I really know you're proud of that. Well, we are. You know, this is, I guess, why we raced here at Thompson in the past, to, to get up to this Grand National circuit. And, we finally made it, and it's really nice to come back and be able to show our fans what we're in now. You know, we kind of deserted them. We moved south, and we race down there now, and they can't see us run like they used to. So that's basically why we came back, to show them what we're doing and show them the car we're running. Well, things seem to be really going well for you this year. You've picked up a, a major sponsor in Gatorade, and you've run up front a lot, leading over 400 laps, and I believe you're up in the top three or four in the lap leadership program. And uh, things really look well for the Gatorade team for the rest of the year. Well, that does. We've had a lot of bad luck throughout the year, uh, mechanical problems, tire problems, just everything, you name it, we've had it. And uh, But we've run well. You know, we've run up front, like you said, and we're always a contender. So, uh, you know, we feel good about the way we've been running. we just got to change that luck, get the monkey off our back, I guess. And, you know, I'm sure we're going to, before the year, year's out, we're going to win a race or two. How about tonight? You're racing against Ronnie, and you both run well on the short tracks this year. Ronnie's got a pole on a short track, and, and you've run really well on some of the short tracks that are similar to Thompson. And uh, there's not too many people other than you that know how to set up a car for this racetrack. So do you, you think your chances are good for tonight? Well, we're going to give it our best shot. We've got a good car. It's been running good on the short tracks. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a heck of a race. Ronnie, like you say, has come on these last few races, and they're running real strong. And... Um, 
Who knows what's going to happen out there? We're going to give it our best shot. The, the crew's going to work hard. They're going to make a pit stop, and you know they're going to give it their all. So I think whoever gets out of the pits first might be the winner. Well, I know you guys are really going to go at it tonight. This is not a show, and this is really a race because there's a lot of pride at stake. Well, that's right. I, no one remembers who finishes second. It doesn't matter what race is in. They, they always only remember the winner. So neither Ronnie or myself uh, want to be forgotten when we leave here. So we're both going to try to win. Well, that's it from Jeff Bodine prior to the match race here tonight. Thanks, Jeff.